Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm gonna to be speaking with you about how a suit should fit. Now, you need to know this when you're out there purchasing a suit because if you buy something off the rack, you wanna make sure it fits you as close to perfect as possible. So you pay less money for alterations, you look great, and you get exactly what you want. Now, this video is in support of my article over at The Art of Manliness. I'm gonna to link to it right down below. So if you're watching this on YouTube, just go into the About section and I'm gonna link right over to the article. The article I go into 2,000 words and I talk about 11 points, 11 areas that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to. So let me go ahead and start. Number one, make sure the jacket fits you in the shoulders. It shouldn't be overly large. It shouldn't be too tight. Most men will not buy a suit that is too tight in the shoulder area, but most men are buying a suit one to two sizes too large. Just go watch the movie Crazy Stupid Love. There's a great example of the difference of wearing something that fits you right in the shoulders. And the shoulders, to get those adjusted by a tailor, it's, uh, it's kind of like heart surgery. It is one of the most difficult adjustments. Tailors cannot, uh, I mean, Maybe there is some tailor that has been able to make, a shoulder, make shoulders larger, but they can only make them smaller by so much. And the cost is so high, you might as well go look at another jacket. So that's the shoulders. Next, let's talk about the neck. So the neck area, you shouldn't have a whole lot of material just sitting out. It shouldn't sit back from your shirt collar. If it does, it's too large and you'll wanna find a better fit. You can get this somewhat adjusted, but again, not an adjustment that you wanna pay for if you can get a better fit right off the rack. Okay, another area you're gonna see in the neck is bunching in the back of the neck. This is a pretty easy fix. So if you see a little bit of bunching, you should be able to get that adjusted for free at finer menswear stores. If you're buying this at a discount store or a thrift store, then you can just take it to a tailor and for a reasonable amount, you'll be able to get that adjusted pretty easily. Let's talk about the chest and the torso. So that's gonna be the next area you wanna focus on. It is okay if it's a little bit tight or it is a little bit loose. And what I mean by that is about an inch to at the most an inch and a half. And I'm gonna say on the lower end if it's tight because there's usually not a whole lot of material in off the rack jackets that they can open up on the back. But if it's loose, you can definitely bring it in about an inch and a half. Now, why can't you bring it in two to three inches? Technically, a tailor could make any jacket fit you in the torso area, but here's the problem. We start to change the lines of the jacket and we have issues with proportion. So that's why weightlifters, bodybuilders, men that have a huge drop, perhaps they've got a 44 inch chest and they've got a 32 inch waist. So right there, 44, 32, 12 inch drop. If you've got that type of a drop, then what we're seeing is that almost no jet, you're gonna need to go custom. Uh, the lines on most off the rack jackets just are not gonna work for you and the adjustment would be too much in the torso. So jacket length. Now, I'm gonna pull up a quick illustration. As you can see, I've got examples right here of a jacket being too short, jacket being too long, jacket being perfect. You should be able to put your hands down by your shoulders and about where your, uh, where your thumb knuckle's at, or you should be able to kind of wring your hands around the bottom and you should be able to feel the bottom. The jacket should cover the back curvature of your buttocks. That for me is about perfect. Another way to do this is simply to get your full back measurement, cut it in half and add an inch. Now it's trendy right now for jackets to be a little bit shorter. That's fine, that's kind of an Italian look and if you're into that, go for it. If you are a shorter man, that is a great look for you. If you're a taller man, if you're over six foot, then you wanna lean with your jacket almost being a little bit longer. Not too much longer, not like a 1980s Armani look, but you definitely can go with a little bit longer if you are a taller man. And this has to do with understanding leg lines and things like that. So let's go ahead and talk. Uh, and by the way, if your jacket is too short or you try it on and it's too short, do not buy it because you can't get it lengthened. You can get a jacket shortened by about an inch. Beyond that, we start running into proportion issues. Next, let's look at sleeve length. One of the easiest and most common things to get adjusted. Think about an inch to an inch and a half you can get adjusted. More shortening it than lengthening it. Usually with lengthening, I mean, well, the limiting factor of lengthening sleeves is how much material is in there. Next, we're gonna talk about your trousers and start talking about the seat. So most men are not wearing the seat too tight. They're wearing two to three 
uh, extra inches of material in there, uh, basically in, in, in your backside area. So have that tucked in and it's going to look a lot better when you take your jacket off. Um, now the cuff, again, most men are not doing the, uh, they're, not, they're not showing their ankles. They are wearing way too much material down there and you can, it's a very simple fix to get those cuffs shortened. You want to have a nice clean break as shown here in the illustration. Now let's talk about certain things that you should look for. I'm going to talk about four things. When you see these in a jacket, give it a second, you know, really make sure that you want to get this jacket because these are possibly fixes that are going to cost you a lot of money. Two of them have to do with the shoulders. So top of the shoulder, if you see a lot of rumpling, be careful. That either is poor quality build in the shoulders or it just is not going to fit your shoulder type. Many men have really broad shoulders, they have square shoulders, they have sloped shoulders and that can be causing the rumpling in addition to possibly the fit in the torso. So this is a sign of a bigger problem and you want to make sure that this is the jacket for you because the alterations to get this fixed may end up costing you $50 to $100. Let's talk about shoulder divots. Now if you check out the jacket I'm wearing right here, I have slight shoulder divots. I like this jacket. Had it made a number of years ago. Would I, you know, on some of my other jackets, my shoulders are a bit smaller. I would say this is about as large a divots as you want to have. Once you start to have huge divots, it's just not a great look. Let's talk about the pitch of the jacket. So this, the pitch is how the sleeve is actually attached to the torso and right here to the armhole. Now this, you have to change the entire angle. If the pitch is off, this is an expensive fix. We're talking at least $50. It has to be usually hand worked. So something you want to make sure you get the pitch right on a jacket. Now don't just look at one image because uh, that's taken from a certain point in time. Pitch has a lot to do with uh, the way you stand. So if you're a military man, you're going to find you've got a little bit different of a pitch than a man that slouches forward. Finally, let's talk quickly about the dreaded X. My friend Baron uh, over at the Effortless Gent, uh, I think he coined the phrase, but it's basically when you're wearing it too tight right here in the front and when you button up, you get an X right here in the center. So hopefully uh, those 11 tips come in useful. I think if you follow them, you're going to end up finding a suit that fits you well and you're going to buy a suit that uh, is going to be able to last you a long time and you're going to look great in it, which is the number one reason. So if you enjoyed this video, if you want to learn more, go check out my YouTube channel, hundreds of videos. Go check out Real Men Real Style. I've got my free 47 page ebook, which I link to down below as well. And in that 47 page ebook is tons of information. And go check out Real Men Real Style. I've got a lot of other little free ebooks all over the place. And I'm going to go into a lot more about fit in a free ebook talking about how a suit should fit. I know I, I go into detail over at the, the video at the art of, or the article over at the art of manliness, but in this free ebook, I'm going to have a lot more high quality images, uh, kind of limited as the quality of the images I can put on the art of manliness because they go to people, people's RSS feeds. We got to keep the images a certain size. But in the ebook, I'm going to make them a lot bigger. And you can just go grab that so that you can have a checklist when you go buy a suit and you can save money. All right. Take care. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.